ladies and gentlemen i hope you're having a splendid day welcome my name is moz and in today's video we will be doing something i have been wanting to do since april last year so it's long overdue and that is to install a velosa big mouth i'm not sure if you have heard of these this is more sort of a way of tunneling more air into the air box giving it a more increased ROM air capabilities so to speak while keeping the stock air box that is I'm not sure if this fits with uh, aftermarket air boxes as well uh, I'll, I'll leave it at that so I am recording this video at the same time as you can see when I'm installing my Serenis grill so I am I didn't want to take the front on and off too many times so I will actually do this video separately which is this video then and uh, we have a separate video for the grill installed if you're interested in that this mounts as it is and I'll show you where right now the Velosa big mouth goes into this slot here you could say and as you can see it has the same uh, form in smaller a bit smaller dimension than this hole and what this ROM duct does is then it ensures that uh, air pressure and velocity is kept as high as possible or the uh, pressure uh, is reduced as little as possible and the air velocity is kept as high as possible so what this does is then it uh, goes into here and one the air is flowing through the Serenis grill which is now on totally open I think more air will be sucked into the original air box compared to the original mesh grill that has a small opening uh, it, it's not exactly like this one but it's only a few uh, holes in the mesh that are open the rest are closed and I guess that's for fuel economy and aerodynamics etc but with this I hope we will get some more air into the air box and also I mean I don't want to change to a KI or a cold air intake system because I don't think that gives any benefits especially being stock that is so with this at least we will try to increase the airflow into the air box and also maintaining um, the or keeping the temperature as low as possible for the intake side then so let's get on with the installation all right it is in place now it is a little bit cramped and unfortunately i did this in the wrong sequence so when installing the serenis grill you need to attach the eight mile an hour uh, crash bar uh, with double sided tape before you mount the grill so this ledge actually made it a bit difficult to get it in place but uh, that's the way it is we have it in place now and it's a really really tight fit so i used some soap and water mixture and sprayed it inside and around the actual uh, uh, big mouth and then i was able to squeeze it in so with this in place now you are ready to hook up your front bumper again if you only removed it just to install this in my case uh, then i removed my front bumper in order to install my grill so uh, once the grill is installed we will uh, come back in the video and see what it looks like uh, when it's installed and if we can see anything from the front of the car all right ladies and gentlemen we have everything hooked up as you can see and hopefully nothing will break with the new grills and also the big mouth hopefully the big mouth won't be any issue at all as such that's that and i guess uh, what is most important is what it is to drive and if it makes any difference etc and unfortunately i don't have time right now so we'll uh, stop the video here more or less and then uh, once i have the time to actually do some proper driving so we can analyze if it if my hairy butt feels is says anything different and also let we'll see if potentially IATs etc have been changed or if it's uh, the same 
So, with that said, let's stop it for now and we'll go on for a drive once we have the time.